Inside Havana's presidential palace, hundreds of thousands rally at the call of revolutionary leader Fidel Castro, who estimated their number at a million. Most of the throng wears the colors of Castro's 26th of July movement. They are in an exultant mood as the man who overthrew the Batista dictatorship calls on them to approve the public trials and executions of pro-Batista figures guilty of war crimes and atrocities. The executions, some 250 to date, have been widely criticized by many as too hasty and summary, even if justified. Says Castro, the Cuban revolutionary government has no reason to offer explanations to America or to anyone except the people of Cuba. Castro asks his audience if it favors the summary court-martial and gets his answer in a roar of approval. Cuba has spoken. Despite outside protests, the executions will continue. All right, so um, I can accept it. Yeah, you can accept it. All right, hello, everybody. Um, we have a uh, friendly match tonight between our own uh, Matt Dominski and uh, Nevada's Kevin Goody. Um, well, formerly Nevada's. I believe he's uh, moved to the Midwest. Um, and uh, Matt and Kevin have played once. Kevin won that game. And um, Kevin uh, has a lot on the line here. He's currently ranked number 26 in ITSR. Um, and even though it's a friendly, he can still lose uh, quite a bit of ground if he loses to Matt. So we'll see how it goes. Jeremy, uh, what are you thinking looking at Matt's opening hands here? Absolute hot garbage here. <laughs> My thoughts as well. It's it's a clear CNS headline. We're just going to take a rack. Although I'm sure Matt's probably going to UN NORAD or maybe do a China card coup of Iran. If we're being real. But I would just take a rack with the two op. Try to get out of that for even. If you have to get a three-point dom, just deal with it. And then I don't even know what we're doing. We're gonna we're gonna get into South Korea, Afghanistan, and just try to spread a little bit with this garbage hand. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I mean, at the very least, he knows his uh, CNS won't get defected. It's always great to have defectors in your hand when when the only headline you have to use is captured Nazi scientist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it would be nice to have, like, decal in your hand. Yeah. I'm not seeing a lot of silver linings here. This is just pretty bad. I guess maybe that Kevin's hand is also bad if we're trying yeah. desperately. Yeah, it's possibly. possible. All the four ops are out there, though, so chances are he has... I think chances are he has a very nice hand, and that's a nice. Yeah. Wait, what did he do? Did he just do the three three two? Matt can't do anything about this with no yeah. defectors. Okay, so Kevin's trying some some stuff on for fun. Oh, yeah. that's a two, three two with three in Iran. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, and containment. Hmm. Well, if I had a four op, I'd take the swing on Italy. Matt still might. I was going to say he has the China card four op. He is what, not shy to use that. Is it nuts to take that 50 50? I think you, you should probably just grab a rack here. It's so boring, but. Oh, yeah, do it. He's Give get... the people what they want, Matt. Yeah. I mean. Actually, it's not crazy. It, it isn't that crazy. Normally, we make fun of Matt for cooing with the China card, but this... I, I mean, I've made him a meme about it. But... <laughs> Wait, did he not UN Norman? He did not. I think he meant to, though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, going a little conservative on the coup. I think if you're gonna, oh, it works. Jeez, of course. <laughs> I was just about to say if you're gonna do it, you should do big, but never mind. Man knows what he's gonna roll. <laughs> I 
All right, well, now he has some priorities. Cause he has to fill up Iraq. Score Middle East. Overprotect Italy. With seven ops. Yeah. Yeah, obviously, can't overstate how fantastic of a role that was. Yeah, that, that wasn't too bad. I mean, you could maybe get away with just taking Syria if you really want to save an op for something else, but... That's true. Okay. Man. Yeah, I was trying to keep track of the NBA draft, but... Oh, Zach Eady just went ninth, in fact, to the Grizzlies. Mm, okay. Has uh, Terrence Shan Jr. gone yet? Do you know? Uh, Let's see here. I'm pulling that up. Tracking my uh, Illinois guy. Yep. I didn't think he'd go before Eady, but... I mean, they're different players, so... Shannon has not gone yet. All right. The two West Germany setup is real interesting without defectors or Truman in hand. Because that feels like, like that feels like you're bluffing Truman. Yeah, I. I don't understand what that gets you. Like, you could put one in there if you're, like, going to give blockade and don't want your opponent to just take it with a four-op. Yeah, that was that was uh, one of the classic Chinese uh, setup mm -hmm. type things. Well... He has four. a four up. All right. Oh, Justin brings up a good point in the chat that he must, Kevin must have sock govs if he put two in there. Because otherwise, sock govs can empty Germany. Yeah, for sure. Oh my! Oh, oh I, I would not recommend a coup of Malaysia. <laughs> We're going full full mat here if we do the Malaysia coup. Although he would be showing restraint and not using the China card. You said yeah. we don't have a delay, so yeah, this is live. Oh, I'll get the chat up then. Okay, Matt going conservative and taking Iraq. I love it. Yeah, Fidel probably made more sense there, as Justin's saying in the chat, but I mean, ultimately, he's going to use Fidel at some point anyway. I don't think it really matters too much. Yeah, we're playing all the cards, right? Yeah. I don't think he was going to space defectors. Probably not. Not with these poultry ops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Although Justin brings up a good point that Matt's probably going to play China anyway, so you might as well hold defectors. Yeah, so if you're Kevin, definitely want to get into India. Probably get into Libya as well. You also have to yeah. fill up Germany. So he has a lot of priorities too. Well, and I and 
and another one, I think he he does want to take a Middle East Dom after seeing Matt fill a rack. Yeah. So yeah. I, I think a three op play. I don't know that he can get to Libya this AR. Like it could be like an Egypt, Lebanon, India isn't bad. If he got a fourth op, maybe one into West Germany. Could maybe prioritize West Germany over India, although with Defcon at four and Matt doing Matt type things, like <laughs> I do think you want to get to India. Yeah, I agree. Oh, I keep forgetting he's under containment, so we've only seen him use a four op so far. So he probably has some good ops in his hand. Did they? I assume this is a 60 minute game. They didn't say anything. Kevin is known to take his time. Yeah. Okay, maybe they're doing 90. All right, bulls are on the uh, clock right now. Oh, let's see which seventh person they can get. I'm so jaded about the bulls. I'm jaded about most Chicago teams right now. No, you're not even a Sox fan. Yeah, I'm a Cubs fan. They aren't doing too much better right now. Yeah, that's fair, but they aren't on pace for 120 losses. No, I know, I know, they aren't. Historically bad. Just normal Cubs bad. Yeah. This might be the first year... Oh, what do we got here? This would be a three-up three up play. play. Oh! That's aggressive. Very. That's a quick Asia Dom. That makes me want to block Asia, not necessarily this way. Uh. Yeah. Nope, didn't love that because that doesn't that doesn't stop Dom. No, I, I think I would have just dropped Middle East there. Yeah, I think so. So if the Bulls had lost the play-in game to the Hawks, they would have gotten the number one overall pick? Since the Hawks picked number one? Is that a true statement? Oh, I, I, I don't know exactly how it works. I think that's true. If it's true, that's It, it very... might be, yeah. That's a very Bulls thing. Yeah, okay, so that makes good sense from Kevin there. All right, now you, you got to drop Middle East. And what are we, what are we doing here, Derek? Just putting Truman into Italy, I think. Yeah. Seems fine. And maybe special to take Portugal. And then with France at three, I actually, I don't know what we're doing with special. I don't want to space it if that's what you're thinking. Uh. All right, so he did have blockade. Just roll a five on North Korea. 
That is shockingly annoying. What the heck? Yeah, Wait, okay, is... I, I missed what got discarded to blockade. Psychos. Okay. Yeah, that, that is incredibly annoying. All you people who were betting heavily on Matt playing the China card, you just got one AR this turn. Mm -hmm. Deck is pretty oh. red. Warsaw is nice. Yeah. Bulls pick Mattis Buzelis. I'm going to totally pretend that I know. I, I don't know much about him. That's one of the G League guys. Yeah. Oh, oh, never mind, folks. Uh, You're uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> kind of card matters. You're fine. Oh, always oh, messing with your yeah. minds. I don't think I do that. No. I don't hate just putting this up into Afghanistan. Yeah, just threaten Pakistan. Hey, there we go. Do it. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, oh, very nice. I like that a lot. Yeah. That works. lot for Kevin to do here too. He wants to overtech Thailand, but if he does that, Defcon will go to four, and Matt does have the China card. Mm -hmm. And Europe is currently dominated. He could block it, but he can't do all these things. Yeah. Is chat complaining about Lebanon not being taken yet? Uh, no. Well, the DEFCON's at three, so... True. But... so... Considering how bad that hand was, I mean, Asia looks like a disaster. But not a bad first turn for Matt. Yeah, and Asia could turn around. Korean Very War true. is out there. If DEFCON's going up to four, we could see a big coup in Thailand. Decal Vietnam are out there, Indo Pac's out there, so there's a lot that could turn it around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a Korean War headline followed by a big coup of Thailand, and it's a whole different region. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a tough choice here for Kevin because I don't see him dropping DEFCON because then Thailand's... Oh, he does have Vietnam. And that's, that's probably the best way to handle that. Yeah, Lao and just totally beefing up thailand yeah that makes sense europe is hanging out there but like you said earlier he couldn't do everything no all right matt gets europe he gets korean war i like all of these except the last one yeah although that will be free unless kevin decides to play decal 
and even then, Matt could just put it in non battlegrounds. Yep. Yeah, I like the Korean War headline. Oh, absolutely. Love it. And we don't see Indo-Pak in Matt's hand. Do you take a chance at Queen Pakistan? No, honestly, with Defcon at four and Kevin not having good two targets, I think I'd just drop Europe. Okay, that's fair. Does your opinion change whether or not the war hits? Because if the war hits, you have an even Asia. If it doesn't, Kevin will still have domination. Um, I don't, I don't think so. Actually, like, I because I don't think I want. If we had, and we didn't have the ops to do it, but if we had Afghanistan to have a modifier on it, I'd feel better about it. I guess Matt's the one. Not Matt is, or I should say, Matt isn't the one playing IP Wars, so it's not going to automatically hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like with Europe, you, you still have a pretty good shot of getting domination there, even if Kevin ends up filling Portugal. Yeah, because he could do Portugal and Canada. <laughs> Excuse me, and then we can respond with Greece and Turkey. Yeah. We probably will get Dom. And I feel I guess, like, like given oh, oh. Of Pakistan. And then if he hits his IP war, then you get the coup Panama too. I guess it's not all bad. Yeah, and I feel like given that Matt doesn't really have any access cards, getting Kevin to put a lot of ops into Europe might prevent him from putting ops elsewhere like Mexico or starting to walk up Africa. Yeah, I'm kind of coming around to it. But we have to see if this war hits first. All right. Oh, against five year plan. Oh, this if this hits Europe, that would be Oh that's Oh it hits NATO. That's also not which good. is now active. We do hit the war at least. Yeah, but hitting your only four up is still annoying. That was a bad one. Now, actually, um, and that Russia had broken her treaty. Now, I would Russia consider dropping Europe. Yeah. Oh no, no, no! Yeah, if you're gonna coup, you coup back, Sam. On April four, because we have a lot less. I mean, we still we don't have a bad hand. We have a lot fewer clean ops to fight in Europe now. Mm -hmm. The United Kingdom. Norway, Denmark, yeah, Italy, I think you either coup Portugal, or you drop Europe. Because, yeah, I agree with losing NATO is huge for the Europe fight. That's a nice one. Matt got a very consequential five on Italy. Italy and the dice have not been counted up since. No, he did hit the war. That was pretty big. Oh, that's but fun. seems okay. he's uh, kind of boom and bust for him in this game. Yeah, only needing a three on that one. That's pretty disappointing. Yeah, that's rough.
Assuming Kevin is filling that back up, I think you just drop Europe next. Yeah, I think he has to, and, and definitely. Even if Kevin doesn't have IP war, he has to do that. Okay, just putting two in the back stand. All right, drop that Europe. I think so. Uh, uh no, don't do this. You're gonna run out of ops, and I. Oh, and he rolled another one. Hmm. Mm, that's awful. Plus, like, if you're trying to deny your opponent mill ops, he might have Indo pack anyway. Yep. Yeah, no, I, I think that should have just been dropped in Europe. He needed into five there, really. So I think if you were going to coup, it should have been Panama, especially having not seen a D card. Okay, we're going to get away with it because he's going to take an Asia down, which I don't mm -hmm. think he can meaning fight. So, yep, good job. There we go. There goes decal. Do you wait on CIA a bit, or do you want to give it now? Well, all right, he already moved, so he's not giving it now, but do you hold that till the end? I think you do hold it to the end, right? Like, we're not... Uh... Yeah, you're not worried about Fidel. Uh, I like a venti Nasser here, though. Oh, we're going to Saudi. Because if we can take Egypt, which presumably Kevin would let us do, that's an easier way to block Dom. Yeah, I think I like that. So where else are you putting your ops right now? Yep. There's the war. Oh, for influence. Okay, I think somebody has to go. <laughs> yeah, that's very telling of De Gaulle. I think just Nasser now. Yeah, I would do Nasser first. Before Suez. Is mm -hmm. important. I don't mind that, but I think you could do Nasser first. I guess I think I guess where I would have done this differently is I just wouldn't have bothered with Saudi. Yeah. I mean, he really doesn't have a lot of places to put ops. Well, but if we'd have vented Nasser instead of putting two in Yeah, Saudi, no, I, I agree with that. Like he's planning to event Nasser, but I think I would have switched the order of that. Done Nasser first and then use Suez to fill it up. Well, although I do want to get out of CIA this turn. Yeah, well, I mean, he has... Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. He played the China card. Yeah. All right. No Asia. Seven seems excessive. That's a lot. Yeah, I don't think you need that much. I don't, like, you can just take Algeria there. That seems a little nuts to me. Okay, yeah, definitely got to get rid of CIA. Love it.
Let's see. I know we've got Justin in the chat. What do we think of the France situation, Justin? Justin might not be in the chat anymore. Oh, really? Oh, it might be because my stream went down and came back up again. Uh Okay, takes Algeria. Sure. Yeah, like an op in Israel. Like, I mean, that's sure. fine. That's too much. Let's see if we get a uh, redrawn five year plan with Asia next turn. That would be, be awesome. You know, I'm surprised, Matt didn't save the china card he could have done his one of his favorite things and taken japan mm -hmm. yeah it's insane even for matt to do it without knowing where u.s japan is but could do but it next turn it yeah. yeah so by my count what we haven't seen is romanian de gaulle d style mm -hmm. eu marshall u.s japan and then asia and red scare yeah, that's what I have. Kevin actually is behind pace for a 90-minute game, so mm -hmm. I, I hope they've agreed to a 90-minute game. Wait, he's behind pace for a 90-minute, you said? Yeah, I mean, that's oh, 90 minutes, right? Yeah, he's, yeah. He should be at 112. He's, at, he's four minutes behind. Yep, you're right. So if you're Kevin, what do you do with this last AR here? He, he's just he has Asia scoring. He's just slow rolling us. Yeah, Cambridge Five was just uh, <laughs> smoke screen. Exactly. Little play deck bug. Um, I think I'd grab Portugal. Yeah, they'll black Europe. And then maybe do something with Panama. I think he's got the ops. Which actually he definitely does, unless his last card is. Because every card except Romanian and Asia is a 304. There's the to go that we were expecting. Oh, Afghanistan. We into Afghanistan. Hmm. I don't know. That's three ops for one VP. I don't know if that's worth the trade. Oh, redrawn that. Europe and Indo Pack. Okay. All right. This is something you can deal with. No D style though. All right. So we can get. So we'll get to thirteen with Europe. Hitting the IP war gets us fifteen. <laughs> Are you trying to win this turn? I am. Why not? Spacing twice gets us to seventeen. Somehow magically taking Japan gets us to like 19. Yeah, I don't think you can quite do it. 
No. Um, oh, I should probably card track. Yeah, so Kevin should have Romanian D-style Marshall and U.S. Japan. Yes, I agree. Still no access cards, though, which is a problem. Yep. I have to make your access with a giant coup on Panama. Oh, retry mm. Middle East. Yeah, that play last turn with Nasser would have really paid off here. All right, Matt, you know what to do. Oh, oh my God, Matt. That's got to be so frustrating. <laughs> As if there's any doubt. Oh, any he's doubt. really going big on this coup. I, I don't mind it. I mean, he yeah, obviously, it, I, it I is mean, really uh, important. <laughs> All right. And then we have very, well, we don't have very few playable ops, but we don't have a ton of playable ops left is the problem. So I would get Europe out as fast mm -hmm. as possible. I mean, the nice thing is he really doesn't have anywhere to play these ops. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I, I, I don't get the Afghanistan play. That would have been much better as Portugal, I think. Yeah, I agree. I mean, because you're not protecting from Indo-Pak, because indo is going to go to India no matter what. And, yeah, again, the 1VP. I mean, Kevin's a much better player than me. I just don't understand that <laughs> play. I think he's trying some things out tonight. Well, that's fair. Okay, very Marshall good for the event. Good timing. <laughs> Score that Europe. Our policy is directed not against any country or doctrine, but Drop against it like a top man. Poverty. Very good. And chaos. Yeah, that's going to be a frustrating. Oh yeah. yeah. The way ours for Kevin. So as to permit the emergence of political and social conditions in which free institutions can exist. Such a system, I am convinced must not be on a piecemeal basis as various crises develop. Any assistance that this government may render... And we're keeping Nasser in the deck now, right? Yeah, no reason to invent him. I mean, right other than OPEC here. reasons, but so that will wipe him out anyway, potentially before OPEC. We'll so, yeah, keep him in the deck. I am sure, on the part of the United States government. <laughs> Any government which maneuvers to block the recovery of other countries cannot expect help... Man, yeah, had he done the Nasser play last turn and taken Egypt, he could potentially have, he would have gotten to 20 this turn, right? If he was able to space twice? Mm, I mean, he gave he, up, because he'd have Dom, well, he wouldn't have taken Saudi, though, I don't think. So he wouldn't have Dom himself. No, he could have, because he would have played Nasser. Oh, he wouldn't have given up CIA. You're right. Yeah, he either wouldn't have taken Saudi or he wouldn't have played CIA. So if you're Kevin, do you take Japan or do you just start crawling up Africa, filling Mexico, focusing on the mid-war? Oh, that's, yeah, nice. oh, that's a great draw. Um, I think... Huh? Okay. Or you focus on Southeast Asia. I I don't get that. I would have, I would have answered option two to your question, which was go through Africa, Mexico, mm. and all that jazz. I don't get... 
um, get that. Because he doesn't, well, he doesn't have price. He still has USJ. He has to get rid of D-stall, but he doesn't have too many obligations here. Yeah, that's got to be that one. Yep, good. Okay. All right, space time. It sure is. Successful space time. Space EU. All right. Which I agree with when you're on the 2VP spot and have nowhere to put ops. Yeah, I was going to say because he doesn't have anything to do with his ops, I think it's fine. Like almost literally nothing to do with mm -hmm. his ops. Like I guess he could fill Israel, but. Yeah, but that's score. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm okay with spacing there. Maybe some, uh, well, I mean, at this point, it'll probably be too late, but realigns in Africa. Yeah, now it doesn't make much sense. Oh, we don't need to coup and give him mill ops, and we're up by 12. We're trying to win. Mm -hmm. No, don't coup. Don't coup. Don't coup. And I don't like leaving Nasser in the hand that much. If we were going to coup, I would have used Nasser. Yeah. That's getting cooed back, and... Oh, and he rolled big, so now you gain nothing and gave up two VPs because yep. you lost the coup war. Yeah, that's that wasn't a good play. All right, let's see if Mac can get some access and win this game on turn four. Okay, this is bad. Yes. Yes, it is bad. Hmm. So we really want to get a double space on if we can. I guess I guess you can give Nixon for two VPs, but Southeast Asia is real bad. That's probably yeah. Okay, I think that's fine. Only other thing I consider is Cambridge, and let's just get a scoring out of our hand. Yeah. Oh, that's annoying. Very annoying. One small step. Uh, very, very fine grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Mount mass uh, is very fine. Mount mass, step off the lamina. I would go with Zaire. That's one small step for man. Yeah, especially you don't have a four up if you want to take South Africa. Hmm. That's hitting the war. It's not necessarily the coup rolls. Well, again, he keeps going up and down. He had that huge coup in Panama. Yeah, I would say his dice have been been fine overall, but there have been some big misses too. Because South Korea and IP war were big hits. Italy was a big hit. That coup on Pakistan was a big miss. Assuming Kevin has any ops, that was a big two. Yeah, if he has the ops to do it, he's going to flip right here. There are some ops. 
And there's the flip. Is um no I wouldn't do this. Uh, with the three, you should have cooed Zayer with the three. I I was okay with using a two on Zayer, but if you're gonna use uh, um, for a coup yeah. on battleground, you should have used it for the battleground coup. I agree. So that was because a really I, important coup. I had no problem with with his hand, him choosing to use a two up coup, but oh. Okay, score south. Kevin is going to get really frustrated again. Uh, score no. south. Oh my god, don't do your real Score it's score there south. Oh. Okay. okay. That scared me. Oh, free che. Always so amused by what this means in real real life. Like Che just popped out. He's like, I don't think anybody needs a revolution right now. Yeah. Yeah, things are cool. He just went back in to play basketball against Sudal. <laughs> it was you who sent that out. Yeah. No, that was one of the most fantastic things I have ever seen, basically. Fidel Castro inventing the Euro step. And Che thinking it's dishonorable. Yeah, it's, it's not. He's something along the lines of it's not worthy of a revolutionary or something along those lines. <laughs> the ideals of a revolution. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. I think you can coup that back with Nasser. Oh, all right. Is Matt trying to hold on to Nasser for after Sadat? Maybe? I, I don't know what he's doing with Nasser. But yeah, I, I probably would have used Nasser there too. Hmm. Kevin keep Kevin cooing with Norad there. I mean, he could have just take in South Africa and put one in the Ivory Coast and had control. Yeah, I don't get that. Mil -ops. Well, he did need mail ops. That's true. So okay, never mind. Yeah, no, that's fine. Probably just didn't have a good two up to use. Yeah. Just I mean, don't space space the other one. Oh. What? Why would you space defectors? Uh, I okay, no idea. All right. Well, now he's gonna play Nasser because I'm assuming he's not playing voice. That one we gotta ask him about after the game. I have no idea. I mean, maybe he's worried about salt, but I don't know. I mean, voice isn't even that great right now. I don't think Kevin would salt for it. Yeah. Hmm. Well, what do we do with this app? Columbia Walk would be interesting. Walk would be interesting. He, I, I wouldn't have minded him taking a real line of Venezuela, even. I mean, even real line of Nigeria doesn't make much sense. Hmm. That's two VPs. This means that, special relations... that lead is unfortunately evaporating. What did he, oh, did he put, 
He's a four. I didn't see what happened on the last AR. I mean, it looks like he, he jammed something in Italy. Oh, yeah. What did he use there? Yeah, I missed that too. So yeah, it had to have been a four op. Wait, Wait am I not? Or does that have to have been AVM? That's yeah. That's the only four op he could have used. Yeah, that glitched out on me. I didn't see what happened. Did he seriously use AVM to? I think so. Break Italy? Yeah, that's what he had too, right? Because it was at three, so you'd have to put one in there and then another one to break it. So yeah, it had to have been a four op. It had to have been ABM. Okay. That's strange. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put ABM in the, dis in the Discord file. Well, Sakos is a nice draw to counter that. Sure is. Oh. Oh, I mean, I want, he's got to have We Will Bury You in hand, right? Unless, oh, he could have UN'd We Will Bury You. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'm, I'm going to put ABM back in the deck. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, he has UN and We Will Bury You, so it must have been ABM. Interestingly enough, CMC would have killed Kevin there. Or how I learned. So that was a risky play. Especially yeah. with you and Huh. And I didn't get all those cards. Um, I got Liberation UN Camp David Brezhnev Summit Shuttle. We will bury you. Oh, and nuke subs. Okay. Okay, so you're not worried about Africa. I would strongly... No, I don't... I would go Colombia, I think. Yeah. It's like a big uh, Venezuela. Wait, why coup Venezuela? I, I think you still want to coup Africa, right? Yeah, I, well, okay. I'm, I definitely don't want to put Nop in Israel. I guess I'm just worried about nuke subs erasing whatever we coup. And yeah. Everything. All right. Well, he goes for the four op to coup, which I think is smart. I guess that's pretty expensive to event nuke subs and then take another AR to take a coup. So maybe that won't happen. Yeah, he doesn't need to do it. I mean, just take yeah. uh, use UN on uh, we will bury you here and take South Africa and Botswana. Oh, yeah, that's very threatening. Scoring card timing has worked out about as good as it possibly can for Matt in this game. Yeah, he got two Europe Doms off when it could have been zero. Asia was incredible, only coming out in turn three after he's got the chance to win two wars to turn that region that was that was pretty horrible into an even score. Um 
I mean, Southeast Asia wasn't great, but South America, having it right after Kevin Puppets. South America was good. Africa didn't come out right away, so he's had some time to fight there. And actually, I mean, Southeast Asia wasn't that bad. I mean, it's only going to get worse for him, I think. Right. Yeah, truthfully, that's probably the best point for it to come out, given the state of it. Yeah, I, I think... Well, and since we know his hand, I think I really like your uh, South Africa Botswana idea here. And then Matt will probably have to try some real lines on Zaire to counter that. Yeah, that's true. I guess if Kevin wanted to go more conservative, he could do something like he could put shuttle into South Africa and Zimbabwe. Yeah. Yeah, that's reasonable too. Because actually that's pretty bad. If you get realigned out of Zaire, then um Angola's even. Well, but if you go if you don't put anything in Botswana, Matt takes Botswana. Takes Botswana. It's the, yeah. So maybe it's actually still the four op play. Do you go one Botswana, one Zimbabwe? Is that nuts? That's not crazy. And given Matt's hand it'll work. Matt doesn't have a three op to take Botswana. Yeah. But Kevin doesn't know that. Well, Matt has plenty of two ops to roll sixes on Bats one or two. <laughs> and Kevin doesn't have a fantastic hand. I mean, he does have the four op that he can UN. He's got a space liberation now. Then he is shuttle which he's going to use right now all right just spreading out yeah that's that's going to work just fine for him considering how poor matt's hand is oh jeez it's it's dirty uh cameroon Yeah, he's going to need mill ops anyway, so. What's this? I mean, uh, at six? It, say it again? Poland's at six, right? Oh, I think so. Oh, he's going to UN Liberation, so. So that means he's got a space. Oh, because he can't space Liberation. Oh. So, yeah, yeah he had to do that. Otherwise, he'd... Uh, Have to play the China card. Or play Liberation. Yeah, he doesn't know it yet, but Libs is actually gonna be fine. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was that was right. All right, well, Matt's running out of ops he can play here. He's probably wants to event Fidel. Can space voice. I think he's got to do those two things, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't want to hold voice another turn. Okay, let's go into space, I'm assuming. Otherwise, the game's over. Ooh, and that's a 15-point turnaround in a couple turns. Realigning Zaire? Sure, okay. Okay. Just maybe put Camp David right back into it. I'm missing one of his cards somehow. Oh, well. Camp David, Brezhnev, Summit, and Nuke Subs. Brezhnev, that's the one. Thank you. And here goes Nuke Subs. Yeah, 
Yeah, at, at this point, I think you have Infidel. Oh, are you what? watching, Justin? That's the space of the Pope, when I actually think he could have been played for Ops, especially since we didn't know we're still not spacing voice. Why is he not spacing voice? Is he really going to try to hold this from turn four to turn seven? That's insane. That is insane. And now he, he can't space voice now. That's even oh worse than I realized. Yeah, now he can't space voice. But the, the, yeah. Oh my god. That, that's just very, very bad. Because Pope, like, Pope isn't the it's end fine. of the world right and now. The Spectres was nothing. Yeah, this, this is a big mistake. Wow. Well, we'll see if Matt can successfully hold voice through for... <laughs> He's held four. it for a long time. Well, we know he's not going to get Brezhnev. Mm -hmm. now, this, is, this is a big problem. That... Wait, what did he coup? I missed it. He cooed Zimbabwe. Okay, we have ended Fidel, sure. Yeah, he could Zimbabwe, like, he should just, uh, yeah, just get that. Yeah, yeah, just put into Cameroon. So he's playing Brezhnev last to... I'd either put this in Cameroon, no, I wouldn't put it in South Africa. He can just take South Africa with Brezhnev. Yeah, that's not going to be very effective. I think I prefer Cameroon, too. Yeah, I was thinking that, or maybe Haiti to take Dom and Central. Mm. Well, although Haiti... But then if it gets cooed with Brezhnev, you run into that issue. Well, but he can... I mean, he's in Costa Rica now, so he can just use one Brezhnev op to create that same threat. So actually, oh, that, oh, that's fair. Yeah. Haiti might not have been a bad idea there, actually. Yeah, I think I'd definitely go one Nicaragua. And where else? Like, what are we poking if we're Kevin? It's not that many choices, actually. In India, I guess. Yeah, we've seen. I guess cultural is the only China card that is uh, not in the discard pile right now, so it's not crazy to be ready to give up China as yeah. the US. But I don't love it. And of course, there's no way for Kevin to assume that matt has an unspaceable voa but yeah matt has an unspaceable voa <laughs> especially so given what matt spaced him. there is no way i would assume matt is holding voice with what he's been spacing yeah Maybe overprotect Algeria. I mean, you've got that realignable. I don't think that's necessary. Yeah. I think I would have put one in South Africa before Algeria. I agree. 
Oh, and we have an unspaceable grain now. Jesus. Wait, this... and five-year plan. Which is at least spaceable, but oh my goodness. So he's going to have to give voice <laughs> the thing he's been holding. Yeah, this is this is just a mess. You wish you had Bear Trap in your hand as the USSR. Yeah. I mean, maybe it'll be Kevin's headline. That's true. That's actually... That or Junta, I think. Maybe Missile Envy. Yeah, Missile Envy would be really bad here, actually. Oh, man. You're giving up. You have to give up Brush War, right? Because you can't give five your plan and be down a card with grain sales in hand. Yeah, because then you have to give grain on AR1. Which well, you can't... won't be able to if you get Missile Envy. Oh. Okay, so oh. wait, how, did you see, how did you do that with Italy? If maybe I'm still out there. We, we messed something up. I don't understand what we did wrong, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm confused, too. Rush of Mexico. I might have considered doing that in Africa. Yeah, I didn't see what he actually rolled on it. I mean, well, it wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't he have mattered. It okay. He rolled it too. So it wouldn't have mattered, but Allende was also an interesting headline there if we weren't going to headline brush. I think I would go to Nigeria here. I would too. Well, doesn't matter. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a very nice roll. But he's set to be realignable. Th that's that's what I was worried about, yeah. Though I guess he's potentially setting up his own realigns on Zaire, but he's got a lot of work to do for that. And if Kevin has Africa, just drop it. Yep. Not just last turn, my friend. He's had that for two turns. What? I'm glad he's realized that he can kill himself, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this this is an unlucky draw, but he's done it to himself. Yes. Yeah, I still... I don't understand what happened in Italy. Because, I mean, we must have both made the same mistake, which is weird. The China card wasn't played, was it? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, he does have Africa. Yep, and like you said, that gets dropped pretty quickly, which makes sense. I think you got to coup Nicaragua or take Haiti. Yeah. Okay. 
and don't think I would have used how I learned. No, that that's your escape hatch. I would consider just scoring here. I don't mind one more coup. We're just running out of time completely here. Mm -hmm. We have space five year plan, play I end a give voice besides scoring. Give voice before you play I end a. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's a very good point. It's not that painful of a voice. India. Angola. I guess you can't fully repair that. Mm -hmm. Oh, doesn't attempt to block central. Okay. Wait, was what turn was it that Kevin did the thing in, uh, Italy? I don't remember. Oh, it was turn three, though, right? Because it couldn't have been special. Oh, maybe. That's the only thing that makes sense. But special just got played in the mid-war. Oh, that's sad. We wanted that to be invented. Mm. We wanted that to be invented real bad. <laughs> oh, well. All right, take your medicine. <laughs> Matt's thinking the same thing. Sure would have been. Probably didn't have to tell him that, though. Well, he's going to figure it out when he plays voice right here. Yeah. You got to do it, Matt. <laughs> Bite the bullet. Not sure he should have. If Kevin had lost out of those three of lines, worse, but. All right, come on, give him voice. Just hit the button. Here spricht eine Stimme aus Amerika. Aus Amerika in I don't know if you can just call it a mistake holding that through two turns. Is a voice speaking it's two America. mistakes, yeah. A voice from America at war. Our voices are coming to you from New York, across the Atlantic Ocean to London, from where they are relayed to you in Germany. Today, America has been at war for 79 days. Yes, yeah, so I think two the India is pretty US obvious. Speak to you Where else, America Derek? And the war. The new yeah, the that makes the most that. sense. And we shall tell you the truth. I guess Angola. Yeah, you could do Panama <laughs> instead of Angola, but Angola is fine. Yeah, I think if you I go Panama. Seen... We haven't seen SAU or Decal. I think I'd go Panama. Hmm. Although, flip side of that is we haven't seen CRGs either. Yeah. Or Hunda. So I have not dealer's choice.
Oh, wait. Oh, he's going through the... Shoot, I wasn't paying attention. Ah. Oh. You didn't happen to see what that mystery card was, did you? I, I think special makes sense, though. I think it was probably that. That was a really unfortunate time for the for us to uh, lag out and not see what happened. But I feel like special got evented later. Yeah, because it was yeah, that's true. I feel I, I, I feel like that was turn three that that happened, but. Maybe I'm wrong, because special does make sense. Yeah, it is to India. All right, he just goes all, all in Asia. straight up Asia. So I fix Korea I, first. Yeah, one Korea, one India, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And this unspaceable grain is about to become known. If it's not already, honestly. Mm -hmm. All right, starting to take India, Madaventi, Nyende, all makes sense. All right, so here's what I still have out there. I have Decal, South African Unrest, Willy, Cultural, OPEC, OAS, Colonial, Ask Not Alliance, then Olympic Games, Junta, Missile Envy, Cube Missile Crisis, and Salt. That is exactly what I have. All right. We're on the same wavelength. So then we're also magically not missing a card. From... Yeah. I think it had to be something weird happened. Yeah, I think for him, that's that was four VPs. Okay. Oh, I would, yeah, I would have taken the VPs. I guess it'll come back. Maybe. Cultural OPEC OAS missile envy. I, I like that the region is an unspaceable too. Just yep. <laughs> all right, so he, just go f himself. Oh, and who's <laughs> CRG too? That's great. Uh, yep. So Kevin has ask not decal, South African unrest, Willy Olympic junta, Cuban missile crisis. Yes. And he's probably headlining Junta. Yeah, and then Missile Envy is just going to get CMC unless he redrew a four. I mean, Missile Envy is known. Well, he's going to go with it anyway. I, I think... With the way this is turning, I yeah, think it's worth the risk. It's interesting for Kevin. He has some obnoxious two ops and ask not, but it doesn't seem like it's bad enough to be an ask not hand. No, I wouldn't ask not. Wait. EU? Why would you give that over Cube Missile? Wrong about CMC. But we both had it? Yeah, I don't, I don't think we both made that mistake. Okay. But that makes no sense then. Well, 
from what Matt fixed Panama and put one into South Africa. That seems fine. I might have gone India over South Africa, but I think you need OPEC for ops instead of two VPs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, India over South Africa. I think that's better. I like that change. And let's take India. Yes, take much India. Better. Yep. I mean, you know he has to play Missile Envy here, so you have to totally take it, but yeah, I like just getting that out of the way. I kind of think we must have been wrong about CMC, Derek. We must have. Yeah, why would you give EU if you had CMC in hand? It's very weird that we would have both made that mistake, though. I agree. Okay, that makes sense. And we, we definitely want to salt here so we don't have to just... Mm -hmm. But then we're going to have CRGs and grain in our hand for next turn. Ugh. I mean, after you salt, you could play grain to get rid of CRGs. I sort of said it jokingly, but as I said it, it didn't sound too bad. Well, but wait, but that's not going to quite work, right? Because if you salt right away, then you're going to have the card that you salted for in there, too, and you might get rid of it. Oh, yeah, you're right. No, 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 that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Yeah, and the Pope ends up getting played anyway. Oh. That's, well, that's not a... what you want to see. And all of a sudden getting pretty desperate for Matt here. Yeah, that that is not the redraw you wanted to see. Yeah, I was just going to say, this is looking pretty grim before that. <laughs> oh, man. Matt was this close to a steamroll. I think I think he would have still been at 19, even if he had done the Middle, the East. Middle East. Yeah. Because I don't think he had enough. I think if he had been able to take Egypt and Saudi, he might have been able to get to 20, but I don't think he had the ops for that, right? Yeah, I'd have to go back and look. Well, or Maybe. definitely the ops for that and giving CIA, which I think we both agreed was the priority. Yeah, I, I think if he didn't give CIA, he might have been able to do it. But that would have been insane. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, because he couldn't count on flipping Asia and getting Europe back. Yeah. Oh, it is an ass not hand. So Willie, South African, decal, Nasser. Did I miss anything? Okay, so that makes oh. more sense that Nasser was a redraw. Oh, thank you, Matt. <laughs> oh, in Olympic Games. Yep. And there's no DEFCON path for Matt. Oh, yeah, because, uh, yeah. 
gunman's gone. Yeah, so it's it's yeah, and Ortega is in the thing. Because that would be unspaceable. But yeah, sorry. Kevin would be nuts to go into Cuba at this point. Yeah, so we've got to somehow figure out a Europe control shenanigans, which isn't going to happen. Arms race, okay. I mean, CRGs isn't really that bad, I and mean, you're probably just putting back into South Africa and Angola. Yeah. Yeah, you can probably just do that now. But yeah, so if he had just space voice instead of defectors, and then not space defectors of the Pope, he could have spaced grain. Yeah, but even if he had spaced the Pope. Couldn't well, necessarily have... Yeah, that would have been unspaceable. Yeah. And that hand, he didn't have to space the Pope that hand, especially no. how bad. No. We're salting for Junta, okay. Oh, is that enough? It is. Yep. Oh, well, that uh, that turned uh, that that mid war really turned things around. Oh man. All right. Well, Matt gave it a valiant effort, but um, yeah, that's uh, what happens sometimes in the mid war. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and. Um, I think I have an OTSL match coming up this weekend and maybe something else soon, and we'll see what we have next Wednesday. So have a good night, everyone.